So I've been giving some criticism to an artist by the name of Jam Wayne. Some of his music is trash, is is booty, it's not good. And I'm not just saying that to be a hater. I'm saying that because it's 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 not good. It is genuinely doo-doo. He made a song called Doo-Doo and overall, like I would say a good 70% of his music is doo-doo. He has a distinct voice. I would say he can use that in a different way. Um, but it sounds as if he just started rapping, even though I'm sure that he has previous experience. Maybe it's the beat selection. Sometimes the beat is hard. But then when you put him with a rapper like Adam Gahone, even though people think that I hate him, you put him with a rapper like Adam Gahone, makes him look bad because he's not that good. And I hope that he would um get better. But anyway, I've been giving him criticism. And I just keep it real and honest. A lot of people have been mad. His fans are upset too as well. But apparently, he's not. Because he came to my channel and was watching, which I knew was the case. A lot of people like to pretend, right? It's only when you say something that they perceive as negative when they want to actually pay attention. I'm talking to you, Adam Cowell. Talking to you. But fam, he comes onto my channel, says something that seems positive. I'm not going to flip it to make it seem like he attacked me, right? If I put it in the title, it's just clickbait and not in a way, not in a harmful way, not in a harmful way, right? You know what I mean? Nothing. Just watch the full video. That's your fault. Watch the whole video. But yeah, uh, he didn't attack me or anything. It was more so like on some passive aggressive, right? Let me be positive, but. We know what it really means, right? Right. And once again, I don't think he's attacking me, but I don't think he's happy with me covering his content and his music and his rise. People would hit me up saying that he has a connection with an NBA young boy, which is why he has a, a quick rise. Okay. That could be the case. I haven't seen NBA young boy shout him out, but if that's the case, then hey, man more power. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be the guy that's going to sit here and hate. <laughs> you know, I think NBA Youngboy is dope. He's taking a stance against mainstream, right? Um, and I hope everything works out with him and his label. Uh, and as far as Jam Wayne, I just don't think he has it, right? Not for me, not for me. I do think that the people that's representing him are doing an amazing job marketing-wise and the people that's making videos for him are doing an amazing job. Like, the people he has behind him are killing the game. Let's be clear, fam. I always say that if anyone could take anything from me covering Jam Wayne as a topic, it should be we got to learn how he grew so fast, right? That's not a, a state of envy because I, I don't even want that. Um, but I think up and coming artists, if he's not doing anything shady or dirty, if that's the case, then you should study it regardless. Pay attention to the videos that I'm doing, the breakdowns, and try to see if you can imitate it without doing anything disgusting or nasty or shady. That's just my personal opinion. That's my personal opinion. And I think that you guys can do it if you have the talent. Because if you got like 50% of the talent, right? If you like a five out of 10, you can be Jam Wayne. That's a positive. I know a lot of people going to hate me because of that, but it is what it is. It's part of the game criticism. People who want to say my music is trash, they can. If people want to say my videos are trash, they can. It is what it is. But more importantly, I want you guys to tell me what you think down in the comment section. Hit the like button. We should be up and running. What's going on, guys? We are going to... Did I say that? That sounded really... What's going on, guys? It's kind of on my raspy voice. I got to start taking more vocal breaks. Starting to cause a strain. What's going on, <laughs> guys? Man, we about to check out this Ryan Upchurch video. He's giving an opinion on the P. Diddy situation. And you guys have been sending it to me, not only because I'm a fan of Ryan Upchurch, but because I've been covering it as well. So make sure you guys check out those videos. As well as go and check out the original video from Ryan Upchurch. You know, he's like super dope, and I want to make sure you guys go and support him. All right. Let's hear what he has to say about P. Diddy. Let's see. Okay. 
apparently when that happened, P. Diddy's oh, plane left from California. I can see that now. All right, so let's talk about this P. Diddy shit real quick. So according to the internet, apparently it yesterday, two now. of his houses got raided for an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. One house in Los Angeles, California, and the other one in Miami, Florida. And apparently when that happened, P. Diddy's plane left from California. Then stopped at a chain of islands in the Caribbean, an island called Antigua for gas or something. He said for gas. And it was headed towards a place called Cape Verde. I don't know what none of this stuff is. It's like private islands and whatnot. To, or no, you know what? If I'm not mistaken, I think he went somewhere where he couldn't get a uh, taken uh, from the the U.S. Right? No extradition, if I'm not mistaken, is the correct term. Yeah, that's that's wow. It's wild as hell. But here's the thing, there's something wrong with that. It's the same source is saying that he was seen at this airport it, it called Opalaka on the outskirts of Miami. Opalaka. If he was seen at that airport, then he couldn't have been on his airplane that left California. And here's why. Because if his plane left from Los Angeles, California, then went to the Caribbean to head to a place called Cape Verde, he wouldn't have stopped in Miami. Second off, why would he do that? If his house in California is getting raided and he left from there on an airplane, why would you stop at the other house that's getting raided for the police to intercept you when your plane lands? He could just be a fool. Plus, I don't know if he stopped. Um, the footage that I seen looked like he was just waiting for people from the establishment of, from, uh, I guess, his house. Not only that, check this out. So two of his houses got raided, right? Okay. Why is there only footage of one of his houses getting raided? Not only that, but in the footage they do have of one house getting raided. How is the, heli the news helicopter or whatever... How is that in the air, ready to go, and already filming exactly when the raid's going on, when they're pulling people out of the house? Either that was the most non-secretive... I'm going to be honest, it could have been something like the neighbors saw it and called TMZ and TMZ pulled up or TMZ let other people know. TMZ be pretty early to a lot of things. Like, I remember when the Kobe uh, Bryant incident happened and he passed away, TMZ was there. I'm talking about like instant. Like, it's like that movie Nightcrawler with Jake uh, Gyllenhaal. Check that out. Raid ever. The high up law enforcement no, no just chit chats with the news stations. It's like, hey, guess what? Or the news station is just a fucking psychic or something. It's little details that matter to me. So here's another little detail. So every news thing that I've seen talking about this is saying that he's headed towards a place called Cape Verde. C A P E Verde. There is no Cape Verde on Google Earth. There's a Cabo Verde. You can type in Cape Verde, but it's that ain't what it's called on Google Earth. I mean, what are you going to say? Some people say it different when you can't spell. No, nah, I, I never heard of either one, but that is suspect. It is pretty sus. Tennessee, any other way, except for the way it's already spelled. Here's what I don't understand. If you get off Google Earth and go to Google Maps, both made by Google, Google Maps has a Cape Verde. Has it spelled that way? But Google Earth does not. I don't understand the point of that. Another thing. I do think that's pretty odd, too, as well. Is it P. Diddy's house? Technically, we need to know because some sources are saying it's P. Diddy's house. Other sources are saying it's not his house. It's not in his name. It's in his daughter's name and it's in an LLC called Bad Boy Films. Could so is so it or is it not? Another thing. It could be his house and it could be so he, he could avoid like tax and, and I said tax, taxes or just the government um, garnishing his wages. What's up with the jets? Everybody's like, oh yeah, look, he did his jet. Why is some people posting white ones and some people posting black ones? What color is the jet? 
I'm not really questioning any of these things. I'm trying to get the viewer who's watching this video right now to notice this pattern. What is up with this pattern? Left, right, red, blue, one, two. Right. They raided both houses, but we only got some of this house. It's a black jet. It's a white jet. He stopped at this airport. He didn't stop at the airport. He's on the plane. He's not on the plane. What is up with this pattern that is seems like it's like shittily designed to confuse people who yeah it does seem suspect i credit it to being more so like just us not knowing nothing right the footage we've seen could be delayed or like we don't know man we don't know i think we're gonna find out for sure but we don't know watch the internet because that's the thing. If you had solid information that was the true timeline and people knew what they were talking about, you wouldn't have that many theories about what could have possibly happened. If you have one majorly fucked up, stupid sounding story about somebody and they actually did something, then there's going to be thousands of theories and thousands of people arguing about what theory of theirs is better. While whatever the person actually did, no one cares because you're too busy arguing about who's right about the fucking theory. Then if the person actually did something bad that you're theorizing did something and you're arguing and all these theories are multiplying and everybody's fucking misconstruing the information, then they get away. They get away because you spend too much time. It is true. Also, love that hat. Love that hat. That hat is fire, my G. That is dope as hell. Um, bullshit. Like, like all these true crime channels being like, all we need to do is speculate, speculate, speculate. Now, how about you just fucking read the facts and just speculate about those facts? And don't speculate about an imaginary thing that coulda, shoulda, and woulda happened. Like, dude, seriously, like 60%. Big facts. Oh, I know true crime channels are going to be mad. I know a true crime channel's gonna be mad. Yeah, it's been facts. Of the true crime channels, do you know what you're actually doing? You are speculating someone's speculation. Do you think you're gonna figure out something doing that? And if you're not doing that, you're staying neutral on purpose and not saying or putting any input in and just going with the majority. And I hate to break it to you, but the real investigators don't have investigating YouTube channels. I'm just saying. But getting back to some real shit, that pattern I was talking about earlier. That pattern, I've noticed that pattern about three years ago. And the first time I ever seen it was in the true crime community on YouTube. And I was like, what is up with this? They're trying to figure shit out. It's disgusting. Check out some of the documentaries I've done on, it, on my main channel, BXB's Boy. But yeah, true crime uh, community is pretty nasty on YouTube. Foul, filled with lies. Or are they trying to confuse motherfuckers at the same time? Then, when you're doing the same exact thing as they are, except for you're not doing the whole one, two, red, blue, is he over here, is he over here, if you're not doing that, they drop whatever they're doing, and they fucking attack the shit out of you, and they say that they're right, even though they're not right or wrong. They're actually giving you multiple things that could be right or wrong. But it seems like they're doing it on purpose, because these fucking individual channels have just popped up in the past three years. Like, a lot of them. And it's like their job is to fuck the information up. That yeah, 100%. 100%. I do believe when it comes to true crime, you should just be observing and reporting, bro. Like, observe and report. I don't even mind true crime reactions. But don't make up nothing. Right? That's just nasty. Gets out to us. When you're trying to figure out something, it's good to get clues. But when you got 10 million clues... And they're just like, they, the clues keep stacking up. You're never going to get to the end of it. And that's that's what I think their goal is. Because now everyone's able to communicate on the internet. And if the whole world is trying to solve one particular thing, then it would get solved really fast. Unless they just kept adding a bunch of bullshit fucking clues. And I know, I know. Church, they've been doing that forever. I know, but I'm specifically talking about the true crime community on YouTube. There's something up with it. Once again, going back to this pattern. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. I do have to say so. I ain't gonna name no names, but... Man, there's some that still to this day are trying to destroy uh, up church. Still to this day, I get screenshots of them pop it up in chat. So I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Now, what is up with this? When you look at the P. Diddy stuff going on, 
and you look back at the Kylie Rodney stuff and everything that me and my friends found, well, with this P. Diddy sex trafficking stuff that everybody's talking about, it involves three states. New York, Miami, Florida, Los Angeles, California. Those are the same exact three states that we uncovered a bunch of fucking weird LLCs and fucking addresses that were blurred out on Google. And all this shit was linked to these individual YouTubers that were attacking the fuck out of me because I was trying to do something that everyone else was trying to do, which was... Snap. So it's almost as if, like, the system is designed to try to destroy and cancel and go at anyone who's bringing attention to the nastiness. That's crazy. Whoa. Solve a YouTube mystery. Well, I think we solved it a little bit too good because how is how are they doing the same exact one-two pattern and the same exact three states are popping up in the same exact genre or category of serious crime? And what was the main thing we were focused on during the Kylie Rodney shit? A sex trafficking operation. And the closer I got and the more that I'd done and the more that I figured out, the more these people... I have to think about that for a second. Nah, that's wow. Whoa. We're getting irate, these certain YouTubers, to the that's point true. where one got so scared that he went to the fucking Caribbean islands. He left Florida, Miami, Florida, which is where he lives. He left there, went to the fucking Caribbean islands. The other YouTuber was a self proclaimed fucking military drill sergeant lady. <laughs> oh, yeah, and she apparently worked for NASA. But I made her cry on YouTube because I figured out something. <laughs> I don't know which people you talk about. It's been a while. It's been a while. Um, I probably do know, but can't recall their names. <laughs> Does that sound like a drill sergeant to you? So you mean to tell me your ass to get in a fucking rocket and go to space and you'll dodge bullets and train people to be warriors? But yo ass don't like criticism on YouTube. Yeah, okay. Now, so. look at what Grady Judd, the sheriff from Florida, just uncovered about a sex trafficking ring. He said these motherfuckers are calling themselves uh, Air Force members when they're not Air Force members. They're calling themselves cops when they're not cops. He revealed they were using weird terminology that had to do with sports. Like, uh, like one guy who was uh, an amateur golfer wanted to meet up with a golfing pro for for sex, bro. What? But yeah, that's what I'm saying. There is a system going on, and the more that people will stop trying to get views, it's nasty as hell. Nasty, and I agree with him. Yeah, I do believe there is some disgusting system going on. Me and my older brother was talking about that. And we was wondering, like, yo, you think Diddy going to expose some names? You think Diddy's going to come out and tell people? I like to see it. And actually look at what's going on Expose and assess what's going nasty. on and look at it for yourself and don't worry about talking to a camera. You're going to start figuring out a lot of shit is going to matter. And the, the situation will start to be solved because right now, if you ask me personally, here's what I think is going on. And like I said, I have shit to back this up. I think they're talking to each other through Google Earth, using green screens, and the ability to hack and edit stuff on these green screens they post on Google Earth. That would be insane. That would be insane. But I ain't going to rule it out. And I do want to be clear. This is just an opinion, right? This video is for educational purposes, as well as just me just not only giving an opinion, but listening to an opinion and not saying anything is concrete fact in this moment. You hear me, YouTube? Just letting you know that. Before Google goes and takes its pictures to update the map on Google Earth, they probably got people that go and post up these cheap ass green screens on places like billboards or walls or something. And then that Google Earth car can stop and do it while they're on the route. Then the hacker can come in and hack the actual billboard without paying for it in real life and just use it through the internet, which is where everybody does all their dealings anyway with that shit. Oh, that would be so crazy. Whoa. 
That would be insane. All these dark web shit, it's all risen to the surface web, so it's harder to find. And it would be harder to notice if it's a new form of how these motherfuckers talk. And I know what you're thinking, well, why would they do that? Because that is them communicating without incriminating their self. They're advertising. So they're able to get the nasty off back and forth. And digitally through the internet They ain't gotta spend no gas They ain't gotta even get up off their ass Nor do they even have to speak actual words That will incriminate them Therefore they're technically not incriminating their stuff If they're not saying anything Because what do they do usually When they got you all hemmed up They say is this your conversation Is this what you said How you gonna do that with the green screen Are you gonna do a whole picture of a green screen And go is this what you said Yes it's not gonna work like that You wanna stop sex trafficking Just crazy I know I keep saying that, but yo, is, this is a wild situation. I would say overall involving Diddy, among other things. That's why they didn't want the Sound of Freedom movie to, to be released. It's a lot of nasty stuff going on, especially after I just watched that Nickelodeon special. Okay, well, you got to stop the communication. How do you stop the communication if you don't know how they're communicating? If I say something like this and everybody's like, oh, I thought you were fucking crazy. Well, are we going to wait 20 years to find out they were talking to each other on Google Earth using green screens? Why do you wow. think last year two fucking Google Earth cars was in high-speed high chases with the police? I mean, come on, man. Their job is to update the map of the world. <laughs> Why are they running from the cops? <laughs> I'll leave you on that. Yes. If you want to continue this conversation, let me know in the comments below. You know, go and check him out. Hit the like button. Tell him BXB Spoils sent you. He cooking. He cooking. He definitely gave me a lot of things to think about as far as the true crime community. Disgusting. They're super nasty. I wouldn't trust them with nothing. But that's just my opinion. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. What's going on, guys? About to check out an update on P. Diddy. You guys sent me this video, and it's from a content creator by the name of Benny Johnson. I believe I watched a few of his videos before, but let's get straight into it. Apparently, you guys are saying that there's some information that I haven't seen yet, and I do want to be informed, so thank you guys for sending it to me. All right, let's get into it. Here we have to say. We're gonna win. <laughs> What's up guys, Sound boy, Benny, if you told me in 2024 that I'd be- I swear, that's one of the main reasons why I can't have children. The frequency that their voice hit is like, it's like brain melting. It, it, it really feels like someone's scratching a chalkboard. Tracking P. Diddy's private jet as he tries to hide exculpatory evidence of his sex ring from the feds after they raid his mansions and arrest all of his boys. Well, I tell you, yeah, sure. Hell yeah. Bring it on. Let's do this. And that is exactly what we're doing. Uh, here's P. Diddy's private jet that took off from right beside his mansions, right as the feds were raiding his mansions for evidence. And it's landed in Antigua. Now, what would he be hiding on this jet? What happens to be on this jet? Doesn't include Crazy. P. Diddy. P. Diddy is stuck in Miami as the Fed. Wait, so his jet went over there, but he didn't? Stopped him from taking off on a private flight and detained him in Miami. Oh. Uh, as of right now, there hasn't been any, any arrests, but there has been, of course, a massive search and seizure at his house. Look at all the evidence they got. Look at these bags full, full, full of laptops that are being taken from the house. My God. Why do you, why do you have that many laptops? Unless they old. Sometimes it happens to me. When my laptop burns out from years of use, I'll definitely uh, just have it on the side. I'm looking at my, all my old laptops right now. Damn. Why am I keeping the... Oh, just in case I want to... Um, Get some files off of there. That has like all my old music. And if I could figure out how to repair it, I could probably, you know, get in there. But it's more than likely just I have to remove the hard drive and attach it to like an external and hook it up and then pull it off of my computer to my computer. This, of course, comes after neighbors said that busloads of young women would be 
taken into the mansion uh, and multiple women have come forward uh, accusing P. Diddy of, of sexual assault and other horrible crimes. And so, ladies and gentlemen, um, with all this new information, uh, very, very interesting. Very, very interesting news cycle. And a lot of people are laughing their ass off at this news cycle, including those people who really hate yeah, P. Diddy, Diddy like no. 50 Cent. This guy doesn't like P. Diddy. Why are you pronouncing 50 like that? Fitty. I don't like when people do that. You don't have to pronounce it like you can say 50 cents. It's, it's OK. You're not going to be labeled as corny and, and unless you just naturally say 50 like that. I remember back when Chelsea Han Lily used to try to imitate and say that was weird. I've never said 50 like that. Fitty. Diddy. That, that's not really Diddy. That's how he says it. That's how he says it. Uh, All right, so you and you and Diddy, you and Puff Cool? No, I don't know. Oh, okay, damn. All right. I don't know what that means. Okay. 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 No, 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 we're not cool. We're not cool. Here he is on another podcast. Says things. He doesn't even know what he's saying. It's like fruity. Oh, right. it's 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 going on. When it's people gone. say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I get uncomfortable. Like he said, he said something to me one time, a long time ago. Oh, at Chris Lighty's wedding, he told me to take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the, what the, what'd you just say? <laughs> Let me move, man, before I do something. You're going to make me mess up the wedding. Oh, oh that's man. a nice gesture. That's Let me get out and know. No. Dude, you take me to that sit with a guy oh, says to a girl. Nice. That's, 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 yeah, that's suspect. You don't just take, no. You offer to take a woman shop, and I've heard, I wouldn't do that because I'm broke and I'm also not a simp, but I've heard of people offering females to go shopping. Like, why would you? 50 about that. And he said you did the same thing to him. You asked him to take him shopping. Yeah. I thought he needed some clothes. <laughs> That's what? Sus. I'm a nice guy. That's oh, man. Sus. Okay, so 50 Cent is taking to his uh, nearly hundreds of millions of people that follow him on social media. 31 million followers, for instance, on Instagram. And he be trolling He's also doing that on X. That on funny. X, he says, it's not did he do it, it's did he done. They don't come for you like that unless they got a case. Uh, essentially throwing the guy under the bus. And then on Instagram asking where Jay-Z is. <laughs> Look at this. Missing Jay-Z. Smart. Uh, uh, anybody seen Jay, LOL? Puff said, ain't answering That's the phone. Funny. Oh, man. Uh-oh. That's funny. Yeah, I see a lot of people real silent. I can't front. That is suspect as hell. <laughs> a lot of people are extremely silent. Uh-oh. Yeah, sus. Here is Jay, last reported scene, waving at the puffy jet. So, uh, did he having one hell of a time? But it's this post that's just nuking. The world's almost over. So, what are we worried about? Whoever made this is effed up. I think Trump's going to be president again. Uh, but I'm not going to say that. Said 50 cent. He also he also put this on X. Uh, what is this video? Is it Donald Trump? I think uh, 50 does rock with Donald Trump, if I'm not mistaken. Like he he's a supporter. What is Donald Trump possibly talking about in this news environment? Well, this is uh, a deep fake video that includes Donald Trump saying a number of naughty words. And they've always accused Donald Trump of using the N word, but this this is a video that includes that uh, and talking about. Diddy and Jay-Z and what was going on using Trump's voice. Again, this is a deep fake. I know we have to list these things now, but um, I think yeah, it's all- I'm not a fan of deep fakes. <laughs> Technology is nasty at this point. You could take someone's voice and just make something up, type it, <laughs> and then like make the computer say it and sound like whoever. It's crazy. So quite hilarious. Here you go. Puffy, Puffy, you stupid ass. I told you, stop with R. Kelly. I said, grab them in the. Don't kidnap the. They raided your. You see, I got a courtesy call when they raided my house. You really up up my. Can I get a copy of the Meek Mill sex tape, please? Why would you want to copy it? I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to. He going to be bunny hopping. I don't want. I'm good. So that is the post that 50 Cent posted saying, uh, what a shit poster, by the way, 50 Cent is. Who knew this guy was so so, so savage at the internet? Uh, mm-hmm. Rapper 50 Cent uh, predicts Trump's going to be president again. Real name Curtis Jackson had previously said maybe Trump is the answer. 
in posting this video of Donald Trump calling Puffy uh, uh, dumb as F. So, yeah, baby. This is, uh, now's the time. Here we are. We're living through it. 50 Cent has uh, also posted photos of him with Trump's hair, him as Trump, him as black Trump. I'm going to take over TV and get rid of anyone who dares to report anything negative about our leader. It's all fake news anyway. It's hilarious. Based. Based. I mean, he's always been a supporter of Trump. 50 Cent might be the one of the very few right people within the hip-hop community that's been extremely honest about his support with trump the other ones is lying they all support him they just act like they don't uh 50 cent uh i am reminded by our producer alx uh once threw an event at trump tower that was sponsored by trump you going all right, all right, all right. i was gonna watch the rest of this <laughs> this whole thing's gonna be become about trump and that's not what we was watching but thank you guys for sending it to me and uh, let me see that update. Right, I do think that that's very important. And let me know what you think in the comment section. It's nasty out here.